Hi. Right. We're today, gonna go out to. Today we're gonna go out to Rabbit Creek Park today for going. And we're gonna look at stuff to give you guys ideas. Yep, we're gonna look at all these places along the creek where Rapid, uh, Rapid Creek flooded in 1972. And we're going to hopefully give you guys some ideas that you can use for your final unit uh, thesis. Right, Leah? Right. All right, here we go. Hey, Leah, where, where, what do you see behind you here? A wall. A wall? How do you know it's a wall? Walls. What walls are? You know what walls are? Okay, you're right. There's a wall here. And actually, it's a foundation from a house right along the creek. Here's Rapid Creek. So we're at the Brayburn Edition Dog Park, which is just upstream from Rapid Creek, and we are standing in what is basically the foundation of a house that was placed here before the flood of 1972. See dogs going running around in the background. That's what they use this place for now. This is a great place if you walk along the creek. You can see lots and lots of ruins of what is left of these this housing addition called the Brayburn Housing Addition. So I'm out here at the bridge going out to the pavilion in the center of Canyon Lake, and you can see if you look, there's a USGS benchmark right here that tells you the level of the flood in 1972. The very center of that benchmark, that horizontal line, tells you the level of the flood. And I'm standing in front of one of 14 signs that the city has put up. The first one was at that Braeburn Edition dog park. This is the second one. I'm gonna see if I can hit a few of these as I go along. Leah got distracted here at Canyon Lake Park playing in a playground with the other kids. So I'll just tell you a little bit about what happened here. Standing at the spillway, this was, would have looked about the same in 1972, except that backed up behind this would have been a huge amount of debris. Houses coming down out of Dark Canyon and Clay Corn Canyon. All kinds of trees and rocks and debris built up and holding the water back. And then everything on the right over here, to our right, with this whole earth and levee, had to take the brunt of that extra water and it all just let loose. The water over top of this and it just ate away and just washed out the entire thing. And you can kind of see, I think, the design of this water outlet right here, this pond, and the flow of water through the, the park. That is designed to kind of remind us of what happened in 1972. At the entrance of Storybook Island, right by Sheridan Lake Road, we've got this plaque right here. Try, Leah? Yeah. What is it? Um, it tells us how high the water was. What does it say? Um, it says... Just, say, just tell me that again. Heavy thunderstorms all in the afternoon and evening of June 9th. 1972 caused Rapid Creek to flood this area. The water reached the elevation of this flood benchmark. Absolutely right. It reached the elevation of this flood benchmark. And everything that was back here was Storybook Island. And everything across the road, where it's all open right now, that was housing. This is what 88 feet per second of water looks like running through Rapid Creek. And it's actually 88 feet per second right now because I'm standing basically down here next to the USGS uh, water gauge, creek measuring gauge that's in that concrete silo over there. In 1972, this point saw 50,000 cubic feet per second come by. To give you an idea of how much water that would be, 50,000 cubic feet per second, would be about 19 and a half feet off the surface of what it is right now. And I know it's hard to get a good idea, so I'll try to get Leo over there so you can get an idea of how tall this thing is. All right, Leah and I are at the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center, and specifically, we are at Memorial Park, right, Leah? Right. What do you see? Uh, ducks in a pond. 
I wanted to show you guys this set of plaques because most people walk by these and don't really understand what it's about. Nobody comes over here. This is the plaque at Memorial Fountain and every one of these things has all the names of the 238 people who died during the flood. So that's what Memorial Park is actually about, about remembering the flood of 1972. Why do we need to, why does football have to go with the flood? That's a great question. Should we go there and find out? Yeah, maybe the stadium had flooded and now there's, there's other skeletons while they were playing. What? Hello. Hi. So where are we at? What's that look like to you? Football stadium. Football stadium. So, let's go in there. benchmarks. That means the flood got all the way up to right there. Cool. Is that a lot of water or what? Yes, yeah, a lot. What do you think about that? What would you be doing if you were standing here then? Wearing a life vest. Wearing a life vest. You hope so, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yes, my sister was and my parents were. So we tried to give you some imagery that'll stick in your mind, right up here. So you can now go out because instead of writing a thesis paper, remember the unit question is, should Rapid City have a greenway? Should, a, should uh, the city allow people to start developing in the greenway? And what is the science, the science that allows you to make a decision based on that? That's our unit question. Normally we would write our thesis paper about that. This time I want you to actually go out with a group of people, go to some of these sites and shoot a video answering that question and explaining the science. So to do that, you're gonna have to go out, you're gonna have to script it. <laughs> you're gonna have to make faces like that in the video. Not really, but you're gonna have to come up with answers to that unit question and shoot it as a video that you can present to the class. Also, the Google map is still there. All those sites, all those signs along the, the bike path, along Rapid Creek that explain the flood. Go out, take a selfie with a few of those and get some extra credit, all right, folks? All right, Leah, what do we say when we were getting ready to end one of these videos? Happy field trip, everybody. And make sure not to die in the flood. Yeah, that's a good way to end it. See you guys. Oh my gosh, you found all kinds of sand. What does that mean? Uh, this used to be a beach. I'm sad because Storybook Island is closed when Dad, when Mr. Lance, when Mr. Schroeder said it would be opened. 